is this the craziest supercar engine ever? So this is 100% placeholder parts, but the dimensions are about correct, so size of the turbos in relation to the engine, stuff like that. Let's take a look at just how crazy Project 1000 is. I'm Oscar from Elmer Racing, where we make world championship winning custom engines and high performance parts. Now we're almost ready with the design on our 4000 horsepower Hell engine, so it's time to start looking at our next engine project. Now of course here at Elmer Racing we only make things if they will be the best. So with this supercar engine we really need to raise the bar so high that there is no bar. So the most important thing for a supercar engine is how much fun and how rewarding it is to drive. So power delivery and engine noise are really important. And of course the crazier the engine spec you have and the sexier the engine looks the better. If your <laughs> engine is crazier than what your friend's supercars have you win. The current craziest supercar engine has to be the Cosworth GMA uh, in the Gordon Murray T50. They market that as being the highest revving, most powerful and lightest V12 engine. So let's compare our Elmer Racing Project 1000 to that. Uh, now the uh, GMA engine is a 4 liter naturally aspirated V12. Our Project 1000 is a 1 liter twin turbo charged V12 so much crazier but that allows us to achieve some astonishing uh, target numbers let's take a look at those uh, so the gma uh, red lines at 12,100 rpm we will be well above that uh, they produce a maximum power in the gma uh, with uh, 654 horsepower we will be well clear of that uh, they quote their engine weight at 178 kilograms. <laughs> we'll be well below that with Project 1000. So I think Project 1000 will be by far the craziest supercar engine ever made. So we're really good at designing and manufacturing engines, but we're not so good at staying up to date and in contact with all the different supercar manufacturers. So really need your help, guys. Uh, please comment on what supercar of this engine would be best suited for. Uh, would you want to see it available uh, as a crate engine or a long block? And if so, what would you or your friends potentially use it for? And also, is there a genuine racing use case for Project 1000? We don't really think so, but yeah, maybe one of you guys has a perfect racing category for it. So when will you be able to actually drive a car with this engine? Well, first of all, we need to finish our Hell engine. Then we need to give Project 1000 an actual name. So stick to our Norse mythology that our Thor and Hell engines are. Uh, then we need to start designing this stuff and manufacturing it. That will take around one year for the first test engines. Then we need to start uh, doing drivability testing uh, emissions testing, longevity testing, and doing some updates based on test results from that. So that's around another year or so. So we're looking at somewhere between two, two and a half years from now. Thank you guys so much for your interest in our crazy supercar engine. And don't forget to follow us on social media to stay up to date on our projects.